Hi everyone, today we are watching the first and last episodes of Zoe 101. I feel like this is one of the shows that inspired me to go to boarding school. Like, there were like subliminal messages and it convinced me to apply to boarding schools. So I'm excited to see this and compare it to what my experience was actually like. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be accurate at all, but let's see. Feel free to subscribe and let me know if there's any shows or movies that you'd like me to watch. Alright, let's start watching. Oh my gosh, the theme song. I haven't heard it in such a long time. Do I look good today? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, they're such babies. Oh, she was gone. I think she was only here for the first season, Alexa. No, not my. <laughs> my Alexa would respond up there. It turned off. Good. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen that Alexa randomly turns on a lot. Hey. Hey. I remember that he crashes into the- oh, I thought it was a tree, it was a pole. <laughs> oh, dude. The first time they're meeting. Um, I'm Zoe. Chase. <laughs> so excited for them. Room 101, here you go. Whoa, this is my room? Zoe 101. Oh my god, I can see the ocean from here. I wish my freshman year I had a view of the woods. And then my junior year I had a view of a parking lot. <laughs> Thinking about trying out for basketball. <laughs> well, you'd better think some more. It's really cute that you want to try out, but there's no girls team at PCA. So we'll try out for the guys team. How many of you would say you're good at basketball? All of you shoot and slam and jam. I can do it all. <laughs> Quinn is me. That's what I would do. That's what I always worried would happen. So in my school, sports were required basically every semester. So I played soccer for my whole, my four years at my high school. And I was not good at it, but I played soccer every single fall except for my senior year where I became the manager. And that's what I was worried about the most, just people getting hurt. I was terrified of the ball. I would spend more time, instead of figuring out how to actually play the game, I would be figuring out how to get away from the ball. So yeah, basically I stayed away from the ball. I'm playing. She's so cool. Man, the chick doesn't know when to quit. No, she doesn't. That's a good thing. Can I play? Um, we kind of have a full team. Bye! <laughs> Literally, Quinn is me. I would do that. <laughs> that's what. That's how I ended up being manager my last year. As soon as that first day of soccer, when the coach was like, anyone want to be manager? And I was like, me, let's go. <laughs> I will go get the ice. I will inflate the balls. Just let me not play, please. Girls, you can win. Let's go. <laughs> yes, Dustin. Hey, man, what are you doing? Rooting for my sister. Yes, yeah, supporting his sister. That. Let him support his sister. <gasps> no. They played so well. That was a great game. How would you two girls like to join the basketball team? What? Well, me and the guys just came down here to tell you that we're sorry for playing a little rough today. Yeah, and then not all of us guys here at PCA feel the same way as Logan. We also heard you got pizza. And cake. All right, so that episode didn't really show much about dorm life because it focused so much on the sports aspect, but I'm hoping the last episode shows more of like their dorm interactions and more of the rest of the characters and i want to see more quinn more michael the last episode is called chasing zoe and it's it's a full one hour long movie series finale oh i'm so excited for this one ooh, ooh, ooh. they're already so much older you know how to drive a stick shift not yet but i'm gonna learn and then i'm gonna drive you to the prom in it. but the prom's right over there I will drive you. That was All the right. thing with gotta... with boarding school, prom time. I don't think we had after prom for the boarding students because we were driven to prom from our school on like a school bus <laughs> and or like a charter bus or something. And then we were driven back at the end of it. No, no like limos or anything because we had a bus take us there. So I get his need to want to drive there, even though it's like literally right there. You said we should both ask somebody else to the prom so no one will suspect we're dating. Shh. Yes, but you're not- I can't believe I almost forgot that they dated. These two were the couple I was never expecting to be together, 
even based on that first episode, was not expecting them to be together. But then when they ended up together, it was perfect. Like they they completely work work out. They completely they're so good. It was so good. What'd you do? You like it? I love it. What's this for? Read what it says on the back. Tiaz and Troy. <laughs> now, anytime I see a guy giving a girl a necklace, I think of that scene. Says I love you. She didn't say anything. Who are you? That's I'm what I'm asking. Pato. I teach mathematics to the 7th and 8th graders here. You want to drive stick shift? You wish me to teach you? I want you to make tuna salad. But why? Mix the tuna. This is such a weird storyline. Up, down, over, up, down. Now I can see how this relates to driving. It's like knowing the motions. Keep stomping the grapes. But I want to learn to drive a stick shift. This tuna fish is excellent. <laughs> Thanks. That's right. a good teacher. <laughs> he's, he's literally drinking. Wait, let me explain. So that's a good teacher because he's actually teaching him. But at the same time, he managed to get uh, his lunch and his and a little drink from him. A handmade, uh, a foot, foot made drink from him. You are ready. Stomp the grapes. Stir the tuna. Whatever turns you yes. <laughs> Now I feel like I can drive. Just like... <laughs> Is that driving? I get to pick your date to the prom and you get to pick mine. Now go ask her! I love this. I asked for more Michael and more Quinn on this episode and I get both. Hey, Stacy. Oh, Logan! Hi! Do you want to go to the prom with me? Yes! 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 <laughs> Let's talk about your prom date. Would you like to go to the prom with me? It is Dustin! Okay, <laughs> okay no, this, they're not gonna... this would not happen at, I feel like, most boarding schools. A boy cannot just walk into a girl's room like that. There's like a lot of things put in place so that does not happen. The only exception would be if you have, at least in my school, it was if you had the prefect, which I was senior year, uh, who's basically like a student leader for the dorms. If you had their permission along with the dorm parents' permission, and then you had like a signed note and stuff, and then they can come in. So you like tell them in advance you want that you're gonna have a boy over, and you have to leave the door open just like theirs are. So that's good. But I feel like in other episodes they didn't care; they just closed the door, and they did that so that the prefect or dorm parent can like occasionally walk across the hallway and just make sure oh my gosh and we also had i think it was called like the the three legs rule or something where three legs had to be on the ground at all times so <laughs> both of you couldn't be on the bed or something at the same time yeah that <laughs> the rule i just mentioned would not be allowed so want to break up what saturday night i gave you a necklace that said i love you since then, you've barely talked to me. And when you did, you didn't exactly say <laughs> I feel like Zoe might also be thinking this. Because they're talking, and meanwhile, I'm thinking about Chase. Like, where is he? And I feel like she's also thinking a little bit, like maybe in the back of her mind about Chase. There's just something... Or someone? In the way. Someone? Chase? I can't figure it out. Chase! Dustin's very mature for his age. Yeah, I hear his bedtime got moved up to 8.15. Speaking of bedtimes, another interesting thing, if you're curious about boarding schools, mine had a lights out, which is essentially the time when you have to turn off your lights and be in your bed. So freshman year, we had to be in bed, lights off, by 10 p.m. So it was pretty early and they cut off our Wi-Fi too. And we had to have our lights turned off because the dorm parent and the prefects would walk around and knock on each door to say goodnight to us and to make sure that we were actually in bed and not like on our phones or our laptop or whatever. So if you get caught like brushing your teeth or doing other stuff or being on your phone, if you're a freshman after lights out, then you would get a disciplinary action. And if you get three, then you get into trouble. And I never got a single one. <laughs> Because I was a good student, slash, got away with things. I have hiccups, so I'm gonna drink some tea. What are these? These are small spherical explosives I made out of plutonium. 
I could have gotten a date if I wanted. Who? Quinn is terrifying. Come on. Let's go to the prom. <laughs> Please sign in at the registration desk with Mr. Bender. Okay. That's like a small detail that's pretty good. The signing in at the registration desk was pretty much everything that we always had to do. We had to sign in and sign out every time we left campus. We had to make a note of where we were going. Oh, oh my goodness. Hi, buddy. Okay, he showed up briefly, but he had other things to do <laughs> apparently, so he just left again. Let's keep watching. I did not think you could learn how to drive a stick shift that well that fast. I owe it all to Mr. Takato. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be like, who is that? He doesn't exist. Hey Dustin, is there a lower school teacher named Mr. Takato? I never heard of him. But hey, did you see Quinn fall off my bike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot she could do that. This is why Qu Quinn is... <laughs> Quinn is scary. She threw a bomb at four kids and then she just like, Paralyzed a little baby. <laughs> a little baby, Dustin. Maybe we should have just come here together. And let everyone know we like each other? What's no, wrong with that? I couldn't take the abuse we'd get. Me neither. This is your prom. You're graduating. Just do whatever you want to do. We're over halfway done with the series finale and Chase hasn't showed up once. Why? Get it. Get it. Get it. That was me thinking that was Chase coming back in the taxi and then being really disappointed <laughs> when I saw it was Victoria Justice and her boyfriend, who I don't remember at all. Chase? Hello? Chase? Hey, Zoe. Chase. <laughs> How's England? At this point, I don't remember if I even like his character, but just the anticipation of actually seeing him again. I feel like he was a good character. Then turn around. Oh, he is in London. Oh, just kidding. He's not in London anymore. Don't fall. If he doesn't fall, that's character growth. If he does fall, it's a throwback to the first episode. Ah! Throwback to the first episode. Yeah. You feel this? Kinda. How about this? <gasps> <laughs> I don't know why my impulse was to clap. <laughs> I don't want to kiss you. His declaration of love. Why do you want to kiss me? To Quinn. I your moist. Because I love Quinn. I love Quinn Pensky. And I love Logan Reese. Another clap worthy of scene. Oh, I feel bad for her. Oh no. I remember what happened with this. They killed her. No, just kidding. <laughs> That would've been horrible. Imagine that's how it ends. This happens. Say something. What struck me? Right? <laughs> something slammed into my side. Ooh. I'm gonna be seriously her sore. Voice. Did you hear her? Yeah. Stacy's S's sound normal. I guess we'll clap again. <laughs> I, I gotta move my car first. I'll meet you there in a sec. Don't run over anyone else. Mr. Takato? Hello, Michael. I do not exist. I'd love it if he was real and he's just messing with the student. That's it? Oh, Is that really how it ends? Alright, there are definitely a lot of things that would not happen at a boarding school, or at least at my school. But then there were small details that were pretty accurate. But I mean, even though it was set at a boarding school, the whole show really wasn't about that. It was more about the relationships between the students and I'm glad for the last episode we got to see them all wrap up and Chase returned. It was good. It was fun to see a show that I'm pretty sure had an impact on my decision to apply to boarding schools. So <laughs> even though it was boarding school was like nothing like PCA, we definitely were not at the beach, but it was so cool. All right, thanks for watching.